Hello guys, it's Tech Info and we're back with another video. Today I'm showing you different hidden features and settings of your Fire TV devices. So if you own a Fire Stick or a Fire TV, hopefully some of these will help you out a lot. Before we start, make sure to press the like button and subscribe. Also, don't forget to press the bell icon so you never miss any future videos from our channel. Okay, so the first feature I want to tell you about is the ability to control your Fire Stick or Fire TV with your smartphone. It's very easy. All you have to do is go to your App Store and search for Fire TV. Download this app here. A big plus to this feature is there's a keyboard icon in the top right. You can click that and you can start typing using your smartphone rather than going one letter at a time with your remote control. So go download that app if you haven't already. It's pretty useful. All right, the second thing I want to teach you about today is the ability to add a USB port to your Fire Stick. So by default, your Fire Stick only has one little plug on it and that's for powering it. You have two options. You can get a cable like this or you can get a little adapter like this. The second one's more ideal. Adding a USB port to your Fire Stick is going to be for hard drives, SD card readers and plugging in wireless devices such as keyboards, USB to Ethernet adapter to not have to use Wi-Fi and have more stable connection. I'll link both of these different adapters in the description below. I've purchased both of them and they both work. Okay, so the third feature is a pretty obvious one. But still a ton of people don't use it or they don't know how to use it What I'm talking about is the ability to use Bluetooth devices and what you need to do is go to your settings Go down into the controllers and Bluetooth section Click on that Go to other Bluetooth devices And here's where you can add your device. So this is going to be for hooking up wireless headphones, wireless keyboards, mice, game controllers, stuff like that. I want to show you the settings for checking how much storage you have left on your Fire Stick. So if you fill up your storage, you're going to end up with a bunch of different problems. You might not know that it's because your storage is full. And what you need to do is go to your settings. Go to My Fire TV and go into About. And then go to Storage. You'll see Available Storage on the right side. I'm going to show you how to actually close out the apps that are running in the background. If you have enough apps open in the background, you might slow down your Fire Stick. So the way you close out apps that you're no longer using, just go over to your settings. Go down to the Applications menu and then go to Manage Installed Apps. And from here, just pick the app that you want to close. We're going to click that and click for stop. So once you hit for stop, it'll actually completely close the app and it'll no longer be running in the background. So next one is to have an internet browser on your Fire Stick. So if you go to the search bar in the top left and you type in Silk, you'll see this option here. Click Silk Browser and this is from Amazon. You can download that.
and open it and pretty much turn your fire stick into a computer. You can go on any website you want. Next up, I just want to show you how you can run updates for your Fire Stick. Amazon releases software updates over time, so you might be struggling with a problem that might have already been fixed in a new update. The way you check it is going to your settings, go to the My Fire TV section, click About. And then down here, this is the section where you can check for updates. So you click that, it'll check, and if you're all up to date, it'll say that your Fire TV is up to date. It's worth checking if you start to experience problems. Next hidden feature I want to share with you is going to be found in the Accessibility Settings page. If you click into that, you're going to go down here and turn on Screen Magnifier. If you turn that on, you'll be able to hold down the Fast Forward button and the Back button and it'll zoom into the screen for you. So this is going to be good for any time there's small text on the screen or things you can't see, especially when you use the internet browser. On here, things might be pretty small, so hold the back button and fast forward and you can turn it on and off just like that. That's it for this video. If I can think of some more features, I might make a part two to this. If you think of anything, drop that in the comment section below for us to read. Thanks for watching.